she said that your husband pals around with terrorists, mm -hmm. and she's referring to William Ayers, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you know William Ayers? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Barack served on uh, the board of the Annenberg Challenge with uh, Bill Ayers, and that was started um, by the Annenberg family. Right? Absolutely, yeah. and uh, Mrs. Annenberg, in fact, endorsed uh, John McCain. Uh, so I, d I don't know anyone in Chicago who's heavily involved in education policy who doesn't know uh, Bill Ayers. But you know, again, I go back to the point that you know. The American people aren't asking these questions. Um, you don't think it affects the campaign? You know, I think that we've been in this for 20 months, and people have gotten to know Barack. He's written a book. Books have been written about him. Uh, he, like all of the other candidates, have been thoroughly vetted. Uh, and I think people know Barack Obama. They know his heart. They know his spirit. Um, and the thing that I'll, I, I just encourage people is to judge Barack and judge all of these candidates based on what they do, their actions, their character, their, what they do in their lives, rather than what somebody but did when they were eight or six someone, years old. When, when someone calls, she's, who's running for vice mm -hmm. president, that your husband associates mm -hmm. with terrorists, mm -hmm. God upset you, I would think. You know, that's part of politics. But it doesn't, the it thing, blows, goes right over you? You know, these issues have come up before. Um, but what the one thing that I, I'm, I'm proud about with Barack is that one of the things he's been talking about is our tone. Uh, and it's it's the, the notion that he says we can disagree without being disagreeable. And that's, you know, where he's trying to get to in this campaign, the notion that we can disagree on some fundamental issues in this country. Country. Uh, but we we have to do it without demonizing one another, without labeling one another, because we're in some tough times now. Uh, and what we can see from the fall of this economy is that uh, when, when we fall, we all fall. Uh, and when we rise, we all rise. And whether we're re Republicans or Democrats or independents or black or white or straight or gay, that we're in this together and that there are times that we will disagree, that we won't share the same policies, but we're going to rise and fall together. And that's the tone that I like. And I think that's where Americans want their elected officials to be.